Hey guys! Today I'm going to talk about urinary incontinence, which let's start saying is not a disease by itself, but in majority of cases is a symptom of another health problem. The two most common types of urinary incontinence that affects women are stress incontinence and overreactive bladder. Incontinence affects twice as many women as men. This might be caused by pregnancy, childbirth or menopause. So you might ask yourself, what is urinary incontinence? Urinary incontinence is the loss of bladder control or leak of urine. What are the causes? Be overweight, constipation, nerve damage caused by childbirth or any health problems such as diabetes or multiple sclerosis, any surgery that involves a woman's reproductive organ, certain type of medicines, that's my case, caffeine and any infection of the urinary tract. Your doctor might suggest some things you can do at home to help treat uh, urinary incontinence. So you can do casual exercises, casual, casual exercises, <laughs> training your brother so you can, bladder, no brother, <laughs> so you can have a bladder diary, lose a little bit of weight, change your eating habits, or tre treating your constipation. You can also buy some pads and protective underwear while taking these steps. Maybe these steps didn't work for you and you need to go through the route of medicines and surgery. Maybe you don't want any surgery, surgical treatments. So your next step would be medicines, Botox or nerve, nerve stimulation. Well, your next question could be, could I prevent urine incontinence? Although you cannot prevent urine incontinence, you can lower the risk. You can practice schedule daily, especially during pregnancy and after. You can reach and stay on a healthy weight. You can eat foods with fiber to help prevent constipation. So you must ask yourself, what are schedule exercises, schedule kegel exercises? There are exercises for your pelvic floor muscles to help prevent or reduce stress during our incontinence. Four in ten women improve the symptoms after trying the exercises. So uh, what I'm sharing this is because I'm a 25 year old woman who live with urinary incontinence and I'm proud to share this and talk about it. I'm lucky that mine is a light case and is being caused by medicines that I take. I only need pads currently but I know that unfortunately there is people out there that have heavier cases than me. Now, if you do need more help from the doctors, don't be ashamed to ask about it, no matter your age, no matter your sexuality. Urinary incontinence is normal. Love, Alex.